And um, Peppa on Instagram, like, <laughs> I didn't forgot I was even listening to Medusa. We talking about that on Gerard's statement, y'all. Oh my goodness! So I read Gerard's statement, and I think that <laughs> I just have my thoughts about Gerard's statement. And uh, yeah, like I'm telling y'all, I just. I I sense all type of hate and it, it's hate and just pain and all kinds of stuff in his statement is just like oh my goodness bruh I understand that you and Peppa going through what y'all going through but do you really hate her that much like that man he has some serious hate in his heart for Olivia. And I get it. I get where it comes from. I, I get the hurt and the pain and the suffering and the like, what fuck, like this hoe. And then she got pregnant by Zolo while they were still married and she caused hell. And I really do get it. But that man really does hate Olivia. Like, oh my goodness. Really? He really hates her, like really, really. And Olivia, like, girl, you did it. <laughs> you done it. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to deal with this hate that he has in his heart for you. And the hate that he has in his heart for her is going to continue to have him like doing things to just oh my gosh wow i'm telling y'all them two seriously need to get over the emotional attachment like they really need to get over it it is gonna hurt the kids in the long run y'all wow what he is attempting to do is olivia is not going to be able to see her children at all She's not going to be able to see them kids at all. And I know some people are cheering and that's exactly what they want. But regardless of anything, that's their mother. That is their mother. And we have witnessed it like multiple times. Women can abuse these kids and everything. And when they get older, they still love their mother. They still love their mother. They still yarn a relationship with their mother. They still want everything to do with their mother. And Gerard doesn't want to, he don't want to be the excuse. You get it? Like you never want anybody to be able to say he kept you from your mama. And I get that like she does things and people think that she absolutely doesn't deserve her kids. But nobody is going to know what these kids feel or think when they get older. Literally, he can do whatever he feels he needs to do to protect the kids. But when Robin and Ryan and maybe even Christian, when they get older, their mind is still going to be where it's going to be. And it's not going to matter of what he thought he was doing right, what he felt like was right, and even what was actually right when it comes down to it. If they are going to feel like he is attempting to keep them from their mama, then that's what they're going to feel. And that's how they're going to feel until they are old and grown. And they're going to feel a, a negative vibe toward their father. Even if Olivia ain't shit. Y'all get what I'm saying? You probably don't get what I'm saying. But even if she's not shit, when they get older, they still may feel however they may feel. And that might turn over into negativity toward the father that tried his best to keep her out of our life. It's, it, it is crazy. Um, 
And according to Gerard's statement, them going to the mall was very random. It was very um, just out of the blue. Nothing was planned to it uh, at all. Nothing was planned. It was just random. They just randomly went to the mall. Like how weird is that? That they just randomly went to the mall to look for a last minute Christmas present for Christian and Olivia and the kids just randomly happened to be there. Like what in the world? How did this exactly <laughs> y'all? Oh my goodness. Like I read the statement and it is mind blowing. It really is mind blowing. And honestly, for the judge and the lawyers and everybody that's reading the statement, I promise you that we are all thinking the same thing. Liv said Robin told her they were going, they was going. How did Robin know that they was going on that day? Like it, y'all. I don't. Mm. How did Robin know that they were going on that randomly on that day? Because according to Gerard's statement, it was not in the plans to go. They literally just randomly ended up there. That is crazy. Oh, your child. If y'all read that statement, huh? <laughs> If you read that statement, that complete full statement, you would definitely understand, child. He don't, like, mm-mm, <laughs> child. He, like, it, it was so just very blunt and very, um, very blunt. You hear me? Um, very blunt. He cares less if the court literally takes all custody from Olivia. He doesn't care. He does not care. If these kids never get to see Olivia a day again, he would not care as long as he is in good standing with Antonisha. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I was like, whoa, what? What in the world? So y'all just randomly went to the mall. There was no plan at all. Y'all just needed to get a last minute present for Christian. And y'all walked out of the store. And then you seen Olivia and the kids seen you. And the kids ran up to you. And Raven instantly walked around Gerard, around Antonisha, and into uh, um, Olivia's face. That's what the statement said, y'all. That is what the statement said. They just randomly seen each other in the mall. Raven, Antonisha's sister, ended up around Gerard and around everyone and into Olivia's face. And then the altercation began. The kids were with Gerard. He heard Olivia get loud. Antonicia popped out the side and grabbed her sister from in Olivia's face, y'all. Like, child, if you listen to, if you read the statement that Gerard made, read the statement that Gerard made. Antonicia's sister popped out around Gerard and Antonisha into Olivia's face. Into Olivia's face. Olivia, according to Gerard, Olivia got loud and was bringing unwanted attention to them and the mall. Then Antonisha popped around grabbed her sister and pulled her sister out of Olivia's face. That is what Gerard's statement literally says. Um, you know, we weren't there. So we don't know what happened, what happened, what happened. But for Raven to be in the back, Gerard said, I walked off in front of Antonisha and Raven. 
I seen Olivia Johnson with my kids. The kids seen him. They ended up conversating. Raven comes around, jumped in Peppa's face. But Peppa got loud. Y'all, you got to read the statement. You read the statement. It says... <laughs> Raven was the instigator. Raven ran and jumped in Olivia's face. But then Gerard makes it very valid in this statement that Olivia was the aggressor. Child, I said, I said, what? So Olivia was randomly in the mall with your kids. Y'all come out of Dillard's up on her, basically. You was in front and Antonisha's little sister flies around and jumped in Olivia's face and cursed her and yelled at her and talked about what she'd been posting online and the fact that she came back up what she'd been posting online. But then Gerard put it very, very loud in the statement that Olivia was the aggressor. Olivia was the loud one that was drawing attention to everyone in the mall. But Antonisha had to run around and grab her little sister out of Olivia's face. I said, what? Oh, my goodness. And then he made a very valid point that Antonisha was not the aggressor at all whatsoever. That Antonisha did nothing but pulled her sister away from Olivia. That Antonisha never egged anything on. He made it very valid that he didn't egg anything on. He made it very valid that he has a concealed carry license and he has had it for years. Um, it was a lot of stuff made very valid in that statement. And I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hmm. So Olivia said that they ran up on her that they were yelling in her face that she was being harassed by them. And then everybody said that Olivia completely lied. Olivia is a liar, 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 pants on fire. And then Gerard releases a whole sworn statement that says that Antonisha's little sister came from behind them and ended up in Olivia's face. And Antonisha had to go and take her sister out of the situation. Hmm. Hmm. Girl. So, so, so did Olivia run up to Raven? And start this, or did Raven run up to Olivia? And I'm confused. I'm confused, Chad. I don't know how this went from a Medusa and Jasmine to Olivia. I'm gonna have to cut this whole end of this live off and give it his own video because I'm, girl, I'm confused. I am just so confused. This don't make no sense. But what I think is the hate. I'm telling y'all, regardless of anything, the hate that that man has for Olivia, he really needs to, like, he need to tame it. And I get it. Why he got to be the bigger person? Because he's the one with custody of the kids. Because he's the one with custody of the kids. He is the one that's going to have to deal with his daughters feeling like that he hates their mother, y'all understand it we are on the outside looking in trying to figure it out he is going to have to deal with whatever his children may feel and we honestly will never know olivia gonna tell us what she gonna tell us and gerard them are they gonna upload clips to make us feel how they make us feel. Shout out to Gerard. I seen that freaking. I got to edit it, y'all. I'm going to do my reaction. I got a funny little reaction coming for y'all. I promise. Because Gerard punched me in the stomach. He said, shut the fuck up, Bly. Shut the fuck up. I got you. So I got a reaction coming for y'all. 
When I seen that video clip, I said, oh yeah. I got you, Gerard. I got a fucking comedy thing coming up right now, bro. I know you told me to shut the fuck up. Then you punched me in my gut. You tried to stick something down my throat. You said, girl, shut the fuck up. You, you shut the fuck up. I'm going to show you. You said I, I, he be the father of the year. I get it. I got it good. Shit, Merry Christmas to the kids, y'all. I had little tears rolling down my eyes. I said, oh, my goodness. Look at Christian. Oh, Robin didn't even know what the hell she said. She said, no, no, girl, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, daddy did that. I see, I see that little video game console. I said, oh my gosh, girl, I could only even imagine for real. Like my kids were that excited to shout out to Gerard. I seen it, Gerard. And I'm going to give you your motherfucking video, bro. Y'all get ready for it. It's going to be a good one. It's going to get a lot of views because people love, love it, love it, love it when they think Queen Blama was wrong and understand I wasn't wrong. I said what I said and I meant what I said. Just because he's a good father don't mean everything he does is right, okay? But you definitely got your triple chocolate chunk brownie points. For that, Gerard, okay? You got them, bruh, because Peppa had them kids for a good two weeks. She tried to upload that picture with all them presents around that tree. Girl, but she absolutely didn't make his Christmas like his daddy did. I said, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, after all the trauma over that two weeks and the crying and the having to eat slop for Christmas dinner and the being threatened and sent to your room, and oh my goodness, it all paid off, Christian. I promise, baby boy, it paid off, didn't it? Y'all, child, he gonna have a good time when he get out of school today. He said, video game, daddy, here we go. Christian and Robin gonna have a good time when they get out of school. Shout out to you, Gerard. Shout out to you for that Christmas gift, bruh. But back to it. Back to reality, y'all. <laughs> Christmas is over, okay? Yes. He is gonna have to deal with however them kids may feel. And <sighs> y'all... Like, just speak and think from experience. I don't know if y'all any of y'all had friends that came up with mothers that weren't um, there as much as they should have been, but I did, you know. So speaking from experience, having friends when I was younger and their mothers being off on whatever whatever they may have been on whatever it was a, a different standard of living okay so from like you know them it just i don't even know how to put it without cuz i don't want to put people's business out there for real for real but just prime example you know okay woman got kids or whatever the kids grow up pretty pretty um needing a lot of things. They grow up needing a lot of things, not having socks, not having clothes, not having, you know, covers for the beds. Just like back in the day, you know, the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto. Um, Now, them kids, they don't hate their mothers. You get what I'm saying? They don't hate their mothers. Even kids that were... Um, their mothers allowed the things to happen to them when they were younger. You get it. You you get it. It's a lot of them. Um, they say, okay, your boyfriend did this and the mama's still with the boyfriend. And the kid then been abused all their life and neglected and didn't have this and didn't have that. They grow up and they, they love their mothers. They grow up and they they never turn their back on their mothers. They don't have hate in their heart for their mothers. So what I'm saying is 
with the amount of hate that Gerard has for Olivia and for the relationship that they had and for how their relationship has come out is not healthy. The amount of disapproval that he has for their mother is very unhealthy. And the amount of disapproval that the mother has for the father, it's very unhealthy for the kids. It's very unhealthy. And it will shape how them kids, how they grow up, how they feel while they're growing up, how they feel about their mother, how they feel about their father. It's going to shape all of that. And Gerard doesn't want his discuss with Olivia to alter however his daughters may feel about him is what I'm saying. You get it? I know it took a second to get there. Like, Bly, what are you talking about? <laughs> Girl, I'm talking about life. I'm talking about life, but I'm trying to break it down so y'all completely understand it. Like, I, I know some y'all still, they not going to understand it still because they literally just hate Olivia. I get it. I get it. But, you know, <laughs> child, we're going to say it's not about her. But then if he don't change, whatever is going on is going to be about her. You get what I'm saying? Like he going to feel it's not about her. And, and I tried my best and I just don't understand. And, and I didn't ever want to keep y'all from y'all mama. But they're not going to understand that. Yes, no matter how he feels about her, no matter how Antonisha feels about her, it doesn't matter how anyone feels about her. Her kids will love her. They will love her, you guys. Like I said, I have seen, like with my very own eyes, and I even, even I don't question it no more because I'm just completely grown. But when I was younger, I even questioned it. Like, how in the world, how could you, I didn't understand how a person could still love a woman that just let so much happen to them in their childhood. I just, I didn't get it. Now I do. I, I mean, I, I get it. I, your mama is your mama regardless. And I really do think um, witnessing things like that, it made me understand more also because I just, I didn't understand it. But now I, I get it. You know, a mother is a mother. A father is a father. And you can try and break that bond all you want. But if you can't break that bond, you're not going to be able to break it. And it's going to... Is going to make them look at him a type of way. And even if they don't, you know, verbally um, address it with him, it's still going to be there, which is going to be good to verbally address it because, you know, child, but we talking about when they get way older. But anyway, either or, you guys, that's their mother. Um. If you listen to Olivia's story, and then if you read Gerard's sworn statement, they align with each other. They align with each other. Um, people came in my chat and they did say that Raven went into other reactors' chats and she confirmed exactly what happened. But then people came in my chat and they said that she didn't confirm it and she said that it was only verbally. But what we will know for a fact, listen to Gerard's sworn statement. Somebody needs to read that statement. Did somebody do a video reading the whole sworn statement? I'm going to see if my sister want to read it and I record it, y'all. I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to professionally read this sworn statement for us. Uh, and I'll let y'all know. But, yeah. Yeah. According to the statement, um, Gerard was in front of Antonisha and Raven. So how Raven got from behind Gerard all the way around and ended up jumping in Olivia's face, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But if you don't believe Olivia's side of the story, then go and read Gerard's side of the story. <laughs> the only difference, the only um, sway in the stories is Gerard said that he didn't egg a thing on. And Olivia said that Gerard was egging it on. Other than that, their stories align. Their stories match. Olivia said that she was assaulted and harassed by Gerard and Antonisha and Antonisha's sister. And Gerard's sworn statement says that Antonisha's sister ran around him and she went and she harassed Olivia. And that Antonisha had to grab her little sister out of Olivia's face from the harassment. So, you know, I'm telling y'all, child, people be hating Olivia so much that even when the truth is there, they still hate her. They still, they they just don't like her. And I get it. I do get it, y'all. I really do. But good the sworn statement, y'all. The sworn statement. Gerard said it. Gerard literally said it, y'all. Let me go and look at it real quick. I can tell y'all exactly what paragraph shit he said it in. Let me go and pull this shit up. Because it was a long sworn statement. I said, what the hell, Gerard? Boy, you'd have fun, huh? You done told the whole world. Boy, you'd motherfucking then snitch to the motherfucking laws. <laughs> Talk about that not none of these motherfuckers say that they don't mess with the ops or nothing else. Boy, we got your whole sworn motherfucking statement. He said, my name is Gerard Webb. I am over the age of 18. What? What? Oh shit! Boy, you you snitching to the motherfucking popos? Oh my goodness, you is snitching to the police. On December that twenty eighth, he phoned the mother of his children, Olivia Johnson, regarding the three kids in the pickup. He was denied access. Olivia Johnson told him to call his attorney. Oh my goodness! He said on December the twenty third, twenty twenty two. He went to the mall for last minute Christmas shopping with his fiance, Antonisha, and her sister, Raven. The trip to the mall was very last minute and not planned. Y'all hear that? Do I? Let me repeat it again because I don't know how Robin told Olivia that they were going to be at the mall. Gerard said the trip was very last minute and not planned. We went to find a Christmas present for Christian. Once parked in the mall parking lot, we walked through the Dillard's department store door into the mall. I walked ahead of Nisha and her sister. Once I exited the Dillard store, I saw Olivia Johnson with our children. I was surprised to see my children. The kids were equally surprised to see me. The kids ran over to me and I greeted the children with a hug as normal. You hear me? Do you hear me? Gerard wants to make sure everybody knows all this stuff was very normal. Nothing was out of the loop. No, nothing. They greeted him as normal. He says simultaneously, and to my surprise, Antonisha's sister had walked around me. Once Olivia saw Raven, Olivia started making derogatory statements to Raven. Oh, really? Oh, really, Gerard? Huh? Like, um, I wonder, did the lawyer or did the judge or did anybody call out the, the, the discrepancies in this statement right here? Like, oh my goodness. So... Raven ran from behind you and Antonisha and harassed Olivia, but Olivia started yelling derogatory statements to Raven, but Raven ran up on Olivia. Child. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. I said, what? Derogatory statements to Raven. 
Raven then responded to Olivia and started discussing some of the online posts Olivia Johnson had been making about her sister, my fiance, Antonisha. I remained with the children until I heard Olivia raise her voice loud enough where it was attracting unwanted attention to us. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, okay, because I thought, I thought... I thought that the people said Peppa the pig fucking lied and that she ran up on all of them and that she instigated the whole thing. Hmm. Y'all, y'all know this, this is going to have to be cut off and turned into a whole different video because, oh, oh, something don't make sense, child. Somebody is lying. Somebody. Somebody is lying, but then somebody made their sworn statement to make it look like Olivia was the complete fucking aggressor, but in his sworn statement told the world that Raven was the aggressor. Hmm. Girl, girl, we ain't going to continue to try to break this down at all. What I said, just messy, 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 messy. And y'all wonder why I said Gerard hates Olivia absolutely hates that woman y'all did y'all not feel the hate from the statement did you not feel the hate what the rock said can you smell what the rock is cooking can you smell what gerard is cooking did you not feel the hate could you you smell that hate Girl, I can taste it a little bit. Like, Gerard, but I I, I I, taste the hate coming off of you for Olivia. Like, oh, my goodness, bruh. Oh, my goodness. In your very own statement, you told the world that Olivia was the aggressor. But then you told the world that the little sister ran around you and her sister to jump up in Olivia's face. And she was in Olivia's face so tough. Although Olivia was yelling and she was the aggressor, the little sister was still in Olivia's face so tough that Antonisha had to then step around and grab her sister too. Uh, but Olivia was yelling, y'all, and she caused the unwanted attention and she's the bad one. Right, you're like, girl, girl. I said, I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. This don't sound right. Mm -hmm. This doesn't sound right. Because one thing that we know about Olivia is that she's a punk. Mm. What? Can the church say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 One thing that we know about Olivia is that she's a punk. <laughs> Olivia is so far. She is so far. Then up under my pearls, honey. You hear me? Clench them pearls. Softer than medicated cotton. So you want us to believe that this soft punk, soft punk that let Misha, remember Misha poked her all up in her forehead and everything else. Remember this soft punk ran up on Antonisha's sister in the mall and started yelling at Antonisha's sister. <laughs> I mean, come on, y'all. Put your disagreement for Peppa to the side and think about how soft she is. Do, do, do soft people do that? Huh? I, 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 I never, not one time, never not one time, in all my years of living, have I seen a punk run up and start the drama? Nah, they talk a lot of shit on social media. But when you see them in person, they don't run up and talk shit. They stand back and pray that you don't see them. Hmm. But Olivia couldn't stand back. And pray that she wasn't seen, right? Because Gerard said when he walked out the mall, he seen her with the kids. Then he said that the kids in return seen him and ran up to him. But he seen her with the kids first. So what did Olivia initiate, really? Hmm? What, what did she start? 
She couldn't have possibly started the drama. And I know she didn't yell derogatory statements to Raven all the way across the mall when you were in front of her. She yelled the statements without seeing you because you seen her first, right? So she yelled the statements before she even seen Gerard or anything, y'all. She was just yelling derogatory statements to Raven. Just She didn't even know Raven was coming, child. She was just screaming them into the air like... What the fuck, bro? That's why I said the hate is real. The hate is so real. And it, it was all throughout that statement. It was all throughout the statement. The statement was placed to make Olivia seem like she was the bad person. She was in the wrong. She was the aggressor. She was putting her children in harm's way. Child, I said Damn, Olivia, she, we know you a punk and everything, girl. I, I never even seen a punk go out here and start the drama in person. <laughs> what the fuck? Olivia was out there, y'all, by herself with her three kids. Well, four kids. Four kids, y'all. Goddamn, we keep saying three kids. and we forget about AJ? Was AJ not there? I don't know. She was out by herself, y'all, with all her kids. And she just <laughs> ran up on Raven and Tonisha and Gerard and started the fight with them. Hmm. She did it. It was her fault. Oh, she did that, y'all. She did it. Oh, my goodness. Well, according to Gerard's sworn statement that he provided to make Olivia look like the aggressor and make her look like the bad person, in the sworn statement that he provided only because she got a restraining order and attempted to keep the kids from him. Understand, understand, I said this, I said what? So Olivia said all of this and she's going crazy and Gerard never came live on Instagram to clear his name? He never came live to clear his story, nothing? Oh, y'all, but they was quick to post them clips as soon as he got the kids back, though. Oh, child, y'all, I know y'all don't like how unbiased I am. Oh, my goodness, girl, <laughs> girl, girl, Queen Blama, they hate how unbiased you operate this channel. Like, oh, my goodness, child, we got to call out Gerard's foolery if we're going to continue to call out Olivia's foolery, right? Come on, right is right, wrong is wrong. We try to operate very fairly over here. Okay, you guys. Now, now, I say it. I say it. Y'all, Gerard's lawyer ain't told him to be quiet about nothing. The fuck? If he did nothing wrong, what is there to be quiet about? And then, broop. There we go. Oh, Gerard got the kids back. Uh-huh. Let's watch open these Christmas presents. Uh, broop. I got my kids back, right? Is that what he said? Is that what he said, y'all? Uh, got my kids back, punching Olivia's gut. Watch them open these presents, right? No, he ain't disappeared from no social media at all. And honestly, I believe he was egging it on. I promise everybody can believe what they want to believe, but I believe he was egging it on. That's why there was no social media response. There was no bitch. You're fucking lying. You keep lying on me. I'm going to expose you again. Ain't that what he said? Oh, you don't want me to tell the world what you're really going through. Isn't that what he said? Right? Yeah. He pop online to, debunk every damn thing else she say but it was quiet it was all quiet on deck when she said that he was in the mall standing back to the side laughing and egging on Antonisha's sister and her face harassing her mm. all quiet <laughs> nothing to say girl Hey, y'all can believe what y'all want to believe, but understand, don't ever let the hate for someone have you out here looking crazy, okay? Just <laughs> don't let the hate for someone have you ignoring the clear truth that's right there. 
the clear truth that's right there. Even if he wasn't egging it on, the fact that he didn't step in and stop that verbal attack, which most likely turned physical. Come on now. Where did Antonisha have to grab the sister from? Hmm. Um, like I said, you know, that nudge, that nudge is assault. Where did Antonisha have to step out and grab her sister from if she wasn't assaulting and harassing Olivia? Hmm. Because if Olivia fought back, then it would have been an Antonisha and her sister beating Olivia up. So clearly, Peppa wasn't fighting back. Clearly. Oh, and Gerard didn't notice nothing until Olivia got so loud that it was causing unwanted attention. The unwanted attention didn't come from the baby sister flying from around him and jumping in Olivia's face. That's not where the unwanted attention came from, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I said, mm -mm, no, uh, 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 no, no, no. Mm -mm. See, this is why I don't do hurt men. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This is why I don't do hurt, bitter, upset men. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 mm -mm. no, no, no. Because they'll swear up and down and they will tell you that a bitter woman will ruin your life. But mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> uh -uh. no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm-mm, 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 no, 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 sis. Read the statement. Read the statement from a bitter, upset, hurt ex-husband. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Y'all said, hurt for what? He don't want Olivia back. True, true. He might not want Olivia back, but that hurt and the pain and the anger and everything's still there. <laughs> everything's still there, y'all. Think about it. Remember, like Peppa said, she sat on his face. <laughs> I cannot right now. I can't with myself, y'all. It just be so funny when it comes out of my mouth. Remember what Peppa said. She sat on his face. Like, how bitter. It got to be bitter. <laughs> oh, boy, is bitter, hurt, and scorn. And I don't blame him. Like, I, boy, you let somebody like that sit on your face. And then she didn't tell the whole world. And then she keep rubbing it in Antonisha's face. Like, I couldn't. Mm, I didn't spoke on this before. I couldn't even imagine. Antonisha, like, girl, you. Oh, it's something there, sis. It is something there, sis. Like, this, oh, girl. 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 It, ew. Like, girl. She sat on his face. Um, mm -mm, I'm gonna vomit, like for real. Uh, you've got to kiss him, Antonisha. Mm 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 mm. Uh uh. <laughs> Back to my uh uh again. Uh uh. Uh uh. Nah. Uh uh. Nope. And y'all wonder where all the hate come from in that statement. Uh uh. <laughs> nah, man. She sat on that man's face. And then she keep throwing it in Antonisha's face. Like, Antonisha, you be kissing him. Oh, gosh. Like, uh, every morning when he go to work. Oh, no. It, it, ew. Like, the hemorrhoids didn't set on his face. And then he left you, Antonisha, and went back to her. And she sat on his face some more. Oh, gosh. Uh-uh. 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 Nah, Gerard. I don't even, bruh, like, ew. Mm-mm-mm. I believe he is still scorned. It, you know, it is what it is. Like, it, it's it's to be expected. Like him being angry with her it is to be expected, y'all. They were together for years. They were together for years on years. And he continued 
to try to be with her. He came back. He continued to try. And at the end of the day, it just didn't work. You couldn't feel like that is a waste of time. He could feel like he really wasted so many years of his life. He went behind his family back multiple times. Like, it's so much stuff that he has to clear with himself that he did trying to be with Olivia. It's so many things that he got running through his mind that he's angry about that he even let himself go through trying to be with her. So the anger and the scorn, it, it's, it's all there and it's justified. It honestly is. They were together for a long time. And after they broke up, you know, the anger and the bitterness that she had, had her keeping his kids from him. Like, so there's a lot of anger and hurt and heartbreak there. And he got to figure out how to let it go. He has to figure out how to let it go and relieve the hate for her from his heart. He has to. Like, how are you going to marry with your best friend? How are you and Antonisha really going to get married and live a happy, productive, successful life with so much hate and anger still built up for a past relationship, for a woman that you're going to have to be bothered with? Y'all got kids together. Even if you don't talk to her for five years, that's your kid's mama. You're going to hear them talk about their mother. You're going to hear them vent and go through whatever. If she gets sick, you're going to have to be there to comfort them through the pain that they're feeling. So you can't continue to hate her. He has to figure out how to get past, get past it. How to let it go. How do you even really go into another relationship with all that baggage and all that anger and everything still. I mean, they they in a relationship, they've been there, they about to get married, but can we really think about this for real? Like if they say a woman is supposed to heal and make it through it and rediscover herself and all of this before you lay down and open your coochie to the next man, then what's the man supposed to do? Because Gerard show didn't do it. So, you know, hey, wish them nothing but the best, honestly. Like, congratulations on the engagement, y'all. It's 2023. They are supposed to be kicking that wedding off this year. Whoop, whoop, like Antonisha said. Yay, yay, 2023. Meet the webs, y'all. Um, you're right, bro. I'm going to pray for you, man. I am going to pray for you, brother, because you got to let that anger go, sir. You need to go into your marriage being happy, no insecurities, no bitterness, no hate in your heart, brother. That's how you got to start your marriage off. If you don't, it's not going to work. It's not. Y'all smack that likey like button on the way out. Everybody just say a prayer for Gerard and for Olivia. Like they need it. And attempt to push your hate for Peppa just to the side, just for a second, okay? Just for a second to say that little prayer, okay? Because the kids really need it. Their children need them to co-parent successfully without bitter and hate in their hearts. They need it in order to have successful children. Y'all smack that button on the way out, love bugs. I will talk to my beautiful sisters later. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Try to end this dang on live.